Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Leonard, and I want you to meet Krishna. Krishna is a farmer in Nepal, and like him, there are millions of farmers around the world that have flowing water right next to their land, but yet they struggle to water their plants, and that's simply because the land is at a height compared to the river. I will tell you about my special connection to this site in a moment, but first I would like to show you the most common solution to this problem, and that's a diesel pump. It is costly, it is very troublesome to operate and maintain, and it's polluting. All diesel pumps around the world have approximately the same CO2 emissions as cars in China. And we believe there must be a better solution. And that is why we set out to develop a pump that can harness the energy that is present in flowing water of a river or irrigation canal, take some of the water and pump it up to 20 meter high or two kilometers in land. At a flow rate of 40,000 liters a day, which is sufficient for two hectares of land, the Barsha pump, as we call it, is patented. It has won several innovation prizes. And because it doesn't require any fuel or electricity, it also doesn't emit any greenhouse gases. It has no operational cost. And besides that, it requires virtually zero maintenance. I strongly believe that we need solutions like these, which present a strong business case and have a positive impact in order to really make a dent in the global problems of this world. I studied my master's at Delft University of Technology, where I met the two co-founders, Pratap and Fred. Pratap brought this problem from Nepal. He explained it to us during our studies. We started Akista as a student project. And in fact, the land, the neighboring land that you see in the top of the picture, belongs to his family. We started Akista around five years ago. By now, we are present in 17 countries all over the world. But that's not enough, because we even want to reach the remotest parts of the world. And one of these examples is Sumba in Indonesia. The farmers over there, even though the fuel is subsidized and diesel pumps are subsidized, they cannot afford the transport of the fuel itself. So they revert to these buckets in order to carry water. We thought the Barsha pump costs around $800, starting at $800. How can we make them being able to afford the Barsha pump? We thought we'd turn it around. We will provide the pump for free. They can, together with inputs like fertilizer, irrigation hoses, and so on, they can earn a revenue from the harvest, and then afterwards they pay us a percentage of this harvest. And we call this concept easy pay. So we went there, we selected a plot of land, we installed the pump in the community, pumped to the field, and only three months later, the community earned a revenue of $5,000 from the vegetables. By now, we are a company with 20 employees across four continents in the world. We have installed 250 pumps. We have um, irrigated 200 hectares of land, pumped 300 million liters of water, directly benefited 5,000 people, and we have mitigated 100 tons of CO2 emission. The bad news is that a diesel pump company has 10,000 retailers in India alone, and that is why we need your help. Our ask goes out, first of all, to policymakers, because in a lot of countries, solar technologies are subsidized. Our pump doesn't classify because it doesn't create electricity. It is a renewable energy technology, but it is a direct conversion, which is actually more efficient. Yet, it doesn't create electricity. So that has to change. The second is we are looking for partnerships to overcome our first transition to scale. So for that, with the private sector to alleviate our freight costs until we are at a scale where we can actually transport the pumps at a cheaper rate. And secondly, I'm calling to the UN organizations and their like in the world to help us to subsidize the pump or finance it, partly or fully in implementation projects. The third one is that we're currently presenting of preparing our first investment round. And for that, we are looking 
for introductions to patient capital, like corporate funds, foundations, or impact investors. I would like to invite all of you to join us on our mission to innovate for impact. Thank you. Thanks, Leonard. Uh, before we bring the accelerators up, just remind us of the increase in uh, revenue that yes. that village had after you installed the pumps. So actually, it, uh, compared to rain-fed farming, um, in many cases, you cannot farm even in the dry... What was the numbers? They went from what income to what income? Two to five. Income? Two so thousand to five thousand. Percent, so the, the revenue itself um, is, is sold, uh, so the revenue amounts to $5,000 for one harvest. Okay, yeah. amazing. Okay, let's get the accelerators up and let's get some advice for you here. We're going to bring to the stage Hend, Philip, Chandler and Kavya. Come on up, guys. Let's not be shy. Hend, you actually were here a couple of years ago with your solution, the Humanitarian Tracker. We welcome you back. Thank you. Off you go. Hi, everybody. My name is Hend. I'm the CEO of Humanitarian Tracker, a global nonprofit that connects and empowers citizens using innovation and technology. Leonard, I love your innovation. What I love about it is that it's accessible, that even the farmers that can't afford it right away are able to have it and then slowly make payments towards it. I'd like to invite you to be part of our global action mosaic that aims to crowdsource projects around the global goals and share with our partners see who wants to bring this to their cities. Good luck. Leonard, fantastic job. Um, my name is Chandler Carlson. I work for Elemental Accelerator. We're a clean energy uh, accelerator based in Hawaii. Um, and, and Leonard, yeah, fantastic job. One thing that I love about your solution is that not only is it a technology that's really unique, but you're creating jobs and you're creating really sustainable jobs and, and a sustainable ecosystem around your technology, which I think is really unique. So if there's any way I, I can connect you to our investors or, or people within our ecosystem, within the clean energy ecosystem in, in Asia Pacific, I'd love to do so. And Hawaii obviously knows a thing a bit too about sustainability. Your governor has pledged to make Hawaii the first state in the US to be entirely rene renewable energy by 2045. Great, let's keep going. Um, hi, I'm Kavya. Uh, I work at Logistimo. So we are a supply chain and logistics for the rural market. So I think directly talking to your second ask, uh, we should be able to help you connect with logistics partners to sort of help reduce their freight cost, as well as actually go to the rural uh, places and more remote locations that really need the solution. Uh, we work in countries in Asia and Africa, uh, so I think this might be a, a time that we could actually connect post this. And Philip, just come a little bit closer to us. You're hiding behind the speaker there. Great. Great. Uh, amazing job. Uh, one of the things I think that's, uh, sorry, I'm Philip Kirikoff uh, with Startup Bootcamp Afrotech, uh, and we work with uh, startups that are doing incredibly innovative things. Uh, and oftentimes people focus on innovations around products, which it is, uh, but you've also solved it in a really simple way. Uh, one of the things I'm really inspired by is that you've also done uh, something that's much harder, and that is a business model innovation. Uh, you've actually found a really interesting way to finance it on a kind of pay per harvest model uh, versus an upfront expense to the farmer. Um, and we know some companies, uh, in, some financial partners, as well as companies that are innovating uh, in, in that arena in, in Africa, in South Africa in particular. Uh, so I think we can make some, some really good connections for you. Uh, and, and with that additional funding, that, that innovative funding model, uh, we can really help accelerate the growth uh, without relying as much on kind of traditional uh, maybe grants or charity, but rather focus really on bringing the value to the people that are, are, are benefiting most from it. So congratulations, and we look forward to working with you. Okay, Accelerators, Leonard, thank you very much indeed. Off you go. Let's give them a round of applause. 